In this video, I'm actually demonstrating how to add uh, a new piece of news to your news ticker. So uh, just to, to clarify, the news ticker is not something that's generally readily available within any of the Woo Themes templates. So this is a, an extra third party piece of software. It's an add-on uh, in addition to your WordPress theme. Uh, which has actually been installed as a plugin. Um, so once that uh, plugin has been installed, um, then it will be available for you. So if you already have that on your site, you will probably have a news ticker very similar to the one that we have on the lovely Nectar of Life website. Um, so as we can see just down here, we've got the what's hot area. So this is actually the news and you can see there's a piece of news coming through here on the right, listen to my interview. Okay, so if we want to add a new piece of um, news onto this news ticker, we can easily do that. So I'm gonna go back to my WordPress administration area. And as I say, once you have this plugin installed, which is called Ditty Ticker, uh, you will have an option on the left-hand side of your navigation within the, in the admin panel for news tickers. So if you just open that up, you will be able to see your list of news tickers that you have available at the moment. Um, so you can easily um, create a new one and it's almost like adding a new page or a new blog post. So literally at the top of uh, the news ticker area, click add new. Okay, and that opens up a new page for me. So I'm gonna enter the title. Now you can set it up so that the title either does or doesn't appear on your sidebar. That's all controlled from the widgets area for your sidebar and we're not going to go through that at the moment. We're literally just adding a new news ticker item here. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one test news ticker. And as I say, on the way that we've got it installed on this website, this is not gonna appear on the front end to the reader. So it's really just for our own benefit when we're looking at the list of items. Okay, there's a couple of different types of tickers. Um, we're just gonna go with the default one at the moment, but you can explore the different types in there and change that if you want to by just clicking on view all types here. So we need the text for the ticker here. So I'm gonna say um, new news check out. Check out this link. I just normally put click here as well, just so the person who's reading that completely understands that it's actually a link. Um, so this is actually gonna come up in whatever your link color is um, for your website. And sometimes I think for, for readers, they may not quite um, see when it's a link. So it's just good to, to really give them, you know, kind of quite direct instructions around what to do with that. Now in the link field, you can copy and paste what, whatever you want the link to be. Um, you don't have to have a link. So I'm just going to put the link to Google here as an example. Now you can either tell that uh, the system to open this link in a brand new window. So that basically means that when the reader is reading that and they click on the link, uh, they can actually um, stay on your website and then it will open up a brand new window and your website will still be there underneath. Or you can ask the link to actually replace your website and open up this new link um, within the same window. So this is what the target field is all about. You've got a couple of different options here. If you say underscore self, you're actually telling the browser to open up this link within the same window. So you're closing your website and you're opening up this link within that. If you choose blank, you're actually telling the browser to open up a brand new window keep your website open on a different window and then have a new window for your link here. So you make the selection there. I'm just gonna keep this on self. You can change the way the ticker actually presents. So you can have it as a scrolling news ticker, uh, which will really just scroll from right to left. Um, you could also have it on rotate mode or you can have it on list mode. So I'd really encourage you just to have a little play around and see what, what suits your website best there. Uh, again, you can change the scroll settings so you can go from left to right, up or down. Uh, you can change all these um, options here like the dimensions, um, how much padding, so how much vertical spacing you want between uh, the different news tickers. 
And you can also select the speed as well. So just from experience, I know that the speed 10 is quite fast and it doesn't give people very much time to read this. So I normally reduce that to about five just to make sure that it goes slow enough for people to read. And you can also tick this box here, pause on mouse rollover, which basically means when the reader's reading your news ticker and they hover their mouse over it, it's gonna slow down and pause so they can actually stop it from scrolling and read it. Okay, so that is adding a new news ticker. If I click publish, that will now be live on my site. And that's it. Easy as adding uh, a blog or a page.